Welcome back to another episode of Mighty Master Irumakun, and we had the wrap up of the Walter Park arc. Kiryu got set free. The whole point of that wasn't for the Six Fingers to actually fight, because I was thinking, okay, the magical beast is down, but there's still the people that, that summoned that is still around. Nah, it was just a plan by Bal to rescue Kiryu, and respect to Bal, I really didn't think that he was willing to help out Kiryu like that. I thought he was going to make Kiryu the fall man from the previous arc, right? And then it would be just him going off somewhere else, but Kiryu was that important, okay? He, you know, Kiriwa did name Iruma as his arch nemesis, so I guess this is gonna be a continuing thing. He is really some kind of, like, endgame villain at this rate. Alright, it is fate then. And then, what do we do? We had a little bit of a party. Kaligo impressions were pretty funny. Amiri and Iruma moment. Oof, oof. Amiri did declare her ambition was pretty much, like, to fall in love or make Iruma fall in love with, um, herself at the end of the Dainty Amity arc, right? And she's making her moves. She's fucking going in. Just two of us. Where are they going? They did agree, so I'm assuming it's gonna happen sometime, but probably not anytime soon, because right now we're kind of, like, escaping the paparazzi and we're going to Clara's place, so I guess that's today's episode. Let's watch. Oh. What the fuck is this thing? Clara? Wait. Hubbub Forest. So this is Clara's place. Oh, okay. I, I don't know. Kind of reminds you of Alfal though. What did it say? <laughs> okay. <laughs> this forest pretty much is exactly what I would imagine Clara to live around. Yeah. It's just... A different realm entirely. <laughs> and Clara's place kind of reminds her like Patrick's Rock. Because it just, you know, it's fucking, just a dome. All right, here comes uh, a musical. Yeah, musical time. Wait, this is the end of the musical where they do that dance. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you for preparing such a lovely dance and musical. Claire has told me so much about you guys. I guess Kalago had to also figure his way in here when he was doing like uh, parent visits. Aww. Claire's mom is so nice though. She is just as hyper as Clara though. Just a little bit toned down, but she's cracked also. All the babies are cracked too. This entire family other than Urara is just off the wall. It's a chocolate replica? Don't need it so soon. So many gifts for Clara's mom! <laughs> relax, relax! Where did they get this outfit? <laughs> they listened to mom though really quickly. And suddenly they're out, out, immediately out of the costume. It's so crazy. It's just a normal place, right? Welcome home. I'm home. Welcome home. Okay, left foot first. Okay, you gotta say I'm home every time. That's a... That's, that's an extra part. That was never part of it. Okay, he's still doing it though. <laughs> Boyfriends! Ooh, just after the episode with Amity. <laughs> oh, uh, the sparkly one has that? <laughs> yeah. Iruma. <laughs> oh? Clara looking a little embarrassed about that? I wonder what she's told them about Iruma. Is that just a tree that's been cut down at the table? Like a giant tree that they cut down is just like the main table. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty much what I'd expect from Clara's family. When is he ever home, though? What are you saying, baby? Okay. Album of memories. Oh, is this all Clara? Aww. She looks just the same, to be honest. <laughs> yeah, they do have the same face. The Valak gene runs strong. Oh, she's eating a blob. <laughs> yeah, they like biting as as too. Oh, and she's so embarrassed about it. Seeing Clara get embarrassed like this is kind of refreshing too. Yes, she's that cute. 
Oh, cute. Oh, keep looking then. Show me what is it? What is, what's the other picture is? A strong oh, Clara does look very cute. But this is immediately giving us a Clara focused episode at her house. After what happened with Amiri and Iruma. Is this author doing this on purpose? And of course, the bloodline ability. That power is insane. The fact that you can just pull out anything you want, it's like an. It's a, it's a dimension. Infinite storage in space. It's kind of crazy if you think about it. But again, my previous point. Right after Amity episode with Iduma, immediately with Clara. It's intentional, right? They're trying to make it seem like the ship is close or something, but I think Amity's ship has sailed. We're we gonna have another Master Chef episode between Azaz and Clara. That one time I was so scared to touch a fish. It's a Wii this time, though. All right, try your best. Yeah, I don't know who started that monologue first. There's a little bit of rivalry for Iduma between Azaz and Iduma. I mean, uh, Azaz and Clara. Foul foul versus the Gorgon Snake. Who would win? Yeah, probably the Gorgon Snake, but foul foul's kind of crazy. In the sense that he makes Clara play fetch for him. <laughs> By random creatures of the forest. That's crazy though, we have so many fresh ingredients like that. What what is that? What is that? What is this thing? I don't know. What is this ultimate ingredient? There's a poop right in the background. That's a poop. You see this? There's a poop. It's a blue poop thing. A fish beast. Wait, Azaz is scared of fish, but he's overcome that. But it's obviously a fish intentionally to handicap Azaz. <laughs> the stomach's groaning. But it's a fish, Azaz. Have you overcome your fears entirely? It's a lie. <laughs> it's all alive, I never see it. How can you tell? I mean, I guess it's an ultimate secret ingredient. It's looking a little dangerous. I mean, it's a very chill, wholesome episode. I doubt that things would get actually dangerous. And if it did, then it would be resolved pretty quickly. There's not going to be some serious threats. Unless... Nah, it's just a cave where the fish is going to be in. A hero of Walter Park. And I'm more excited to see everyone's reactions, like, of Netherworld when we go back. Like, to school. Because our cloud is increasing crazy, like... That moment with Sabro. Your ambitions. No answer. Still gotta ponder about that. Is it the ultimate beast? Ultimate ingredient, sorry. Behind you. What? This is it? It kind of looks fish-like. Shabu Shabu. It's a shark and a pig. A shark pig? Honestly? I love pork. And shark? Maybe it tastes good. It's got... Carrot feet, it's got pig feet, banana scales. Wow, it's just a whole rounded nutritious value, man. Just put him in the pot. Just put the entire thing in the pot, man. It's got everything in one. It is the ultimate ingredient. Falfal's coming out. The sibling seems to know about Falfal. But if Falfal comes out, Falfal's gonna make you play catch. Yeah. Wait. Yeah, there are, he's already out of the equation. What are you doing? <laughs> Maybe Clara will come in clutch. <laughs> Wait, does it have a hot pot? It's gonna walk! That's Clara. <laughs> Wait! It just has a walk! This is so ridiculous. This, I mean, the banana skills is ridiculous enough already, but... <laughs> oh? Clara to the rescue? Wait, what? Baiting it with the suspicious meat. Oh? Okay. Now it can be roasted up. Flame sword by Azaz. I don't think I've seen this in a long time. <laughs> the siblings are just having fun. They seem actually... They've been like pretty pleased the entire time when they were captured, so... Oh? 
You, do you just slice it? What do you do? Yeah. Do you kill it? What do you... Huh? What? How do we... The enemy is massive. Just burn it up? No. We gotta pierce it? Do we just cut its head off? It's a little grotesque, right? I don't know. It feels kind of off. Yeah, he's still thinking about that line from Sabro. It did hit deep, though. We're gonna snake! And? What are you gonna do with it? Wait, we're going home. Oh! He's taking Sabro's advice again and just retreating. Mom? What is she gonna do? Where's mommy gonna do? Wait, 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 why does it look like. It didn't look like there was a big of an impact on the punch, but she still sent it flying. Good. Oh, okay, I'll take a nope. <laughs> Amazing. As expected of my master's mother. So, does mommy have ridiculous strength? I can only guess that she does. I mean, as has ran away from it, kind of. Not because he was weaker than it, but he still ran away from it and mommy punched it. No. <laughs> Maybe she's ridiculously strong. Who knows? This is this the bedroom? This entire place just looks like a huge ass mattress. The floor is like a mattress. The boat. <laughs> he said before I remember, he's like, oh, I must I want matching like pajamas or something. Sleepy temperature. Oh. Oh. Yeah, but that's more like sibling, you know, things, but when you give a you know, a lap pillow, especially to a romantic interest. There are some other implications. And again, right after the episode, they're just friends. They're just friends, right? Good childhood friends. But it's not... It's, it can't be just a coincidence that the author has that Amity episode. Look at the shark big boat. Just outside. And then Clara right after, right? Trying to keep it close, but I think it's pretty one-sided. She does have a beautiful voice. But it's just... Clara's lap pillow. Mm. Yeah. It's like you're being healed. Smell the sun. Now, smelling the sun. What does that really mean? I know it's just a phrase. It's like a figure of speech. But like, how could you smell the sun? The fuck are you talking? I'm, 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 I know. There's no need to nitpick. Oh, Clara, but. You're the childhood friend at the end of the day. Henry? What's Henry doing here? Wait? Huh? Okay, my guess for Henry at the end is obviously we just had the Walter Park incident, right? Some stuff is going on. I'm sure the the it got leaked that Edenway escaped to the Valak's place. And now Henry has to go there and investigate what's going on. But I'm sure it's going to be just like a normal episode. Unless... He comes by and he says, What did you do to my daughter? Or I don't know. Maybe I thought Amity would have said anything. He's like, Where are you two going just by yourselves? But probably not. Nice, wholesome Valak family episode. Just pretty chill, just lighthearted, you know, and just wholesome and lots of musicals. But hey, if you stick around this song and if you enjoyed my reaction, do you already know what I'm going to say? Check out the other videos and playlists on my channel if you watch another video immediately after this one. It helps the YouTube algorithm push out my small channel to recommend so that I have a chance to compete with some of your favorite reactors. Until next time, guys, take care.